Hey folks, uh, this is get you ready for your upcoming test on Unit 2 for Modules 4 and 5, Integrated Math 2. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at this really groovy website. Alright, let's get started. So, classify the polynomial by its degree and the number of terms. Okay, so by its degree we have to add the exponents of each monomial. So this is degree 2, 4 plus 3 is 7, 3 plus 5 is 8. So the degree of this whole polynomial, you take the biggest one, it's going to be 8. Okay, and then so um, this is a trinomial because there's three terms. The terms are separated by plus or minus signs. So three terms equals tri. So trinomial, okay? All right, write this in standard form and then state the leading coefficient. In standard form is, is, is uh, descending order. So there it is in descending order, the order of exponents right there. And the leading coefficient is this negative 8 right here. It's after you got, have it in standard form. Then it's the, the first coefficient, the leading coefficient. All right, find the sum vertically and write them in standard form. So that means you're going to have to place them like this. And if you don't do this vertically, you will not get credit because the directions will have underlined vertically, okay? Negative 6 plus negative 7 is negative 13x cubed. And then 3x plus 4x, I'm sorry, 3x squared and 4x squared is 7x squared. Here's plus 5x. And then what's this? Plus 1 right there, okay? All right, and then this says uh, find the difference horizontally, so and then write it in standard form. Let's first add the opposites right there. Notice we inserted a 0x squared right there. Okay, and then let's combine all the like terms, the x cubes, the x squareds, the x's, and the threes, and put them together. So this is how we do it horizontally. If we don't do it like this, then you're not going to get credit, you guys. So just be aware, this is how uh, us four teachers want you to do it. Okay, because this is what we're doing in our textbook. All right, so 9 plus 2 is uh, 11, x cubed, and then this will be a minus 4x squared, minus 4x, and then minus 2. Okay, and then you'll have a couple that you can do any method that you want right there. So, um, so on the ones that say do vertically, we want you to do this method. On the ones that say horizontally, we want you to do this method, and we'll give you a couple that you can do whichever method you choose, okay? The cost of making X tables is given by this function, and the revenue by selling those X tables is given by this. So write a polynomial that describes the profit. Well, the profit is the revenue minus the cost, so we're going to plug that in. So they're going to do 15x minus 20x is going to be a minus 5x um, and then minus the 1,100,000. Okay, now find the profit for selling 20,000 tables. So we just substitute in x equals 20,000 right there and right there. Let's slide that up, okay? All right, so substituting that in. Okay, you cannot have a calculator on this test, you guys. So 2 times 2 is 4, and since we're squaring this, there are four four zeros here, so this is going to be a four with eight zeros, okay? So there it is right there. All right, and then when we multiply four times four, that's 16. Here is eight zeros, except we're going to take off these decimal places right here. One, two, three zeros. We're going to take off three zeros from these eight, so it's going to be 16 with five zeros, okay? So there's our 16 with five zeros, so one million six hundred thousand. 5 times 20,000 is 100,000, you know, 5 times 2 is 10, and then add these uh, four zeros here, so here's our 10 with the four zeros, and then minus the 1,100,000. Okay, let's subtract 1,600,000 minus the 100,000 gives us 1,500,000. Then we can subtract those two, and we get 400,000. Now, what's that mean? If you don't answer the question, you won't get uh, full credit. So the company will make $400,000 if they sell those 20,000 tables, okay? Find the product. Okay, so here we're going to combine the numbers together, combine the X's and the Y's and the Z's, okay? So this is negative 20. This will be X to the add these, so X to the fifth, Y to the third, Z to the seventh, because we add those exponents, okay? Let's distribute this 2X squared through the parentheses. So there it is, 2X squared times the negative 4X squared cubed. Notice I put a plus there, but there's that negative 4x cubed. You could have carried it over there if you wanted. Okay, and then 2x squared times the 3. Either way, you get the same answer as long as you're doing it right. And then go ahead and multiply. 2 times 3 is 6. 6x to the, we add those, 6x to the 6. This will be minus 8x to the 5th, and then plus plus the 6x right there. Okay, all right. Sorry, you guys. Let me go back. Uh, I went kind of fast. All right. 
So, uh, okay, so a rectangle has length 5x plus 2y centimeters and width 3x minus y centimeters. Write a polynomial for the perimeter of the rectangle. So here's our rectangle. We're going to add all those up for perimeter, and there's our answer right there. And then find the perimeter when we plug in x equals 3 and y equals 1, we get 50. And then answer the question, you guys, the perimeter is 50 centimeters. Again, if you just wrote 50, you're going to get docked at some points, you guys. Always answer these word problems. Into in the context, so the perimeter is 50 centimeters. Okay, all right. So multiply. Okay, I'm going to show you two methods here. Our first method here, I'm going to distribute this x plus 8 through, so times this and then times this. Okay, there it is, right there. And then we'll distribute the x through this one and the plus 3 through this one right here. Okay, there's that. Okay, clean it up and then combine like terms. You should get that. Okay, this one I'm going to foil, you guys. First times first is 5x uh, times 7x, and then outer times outer. 5x times 4, okay, and then inner times inner, negative 2 times 7x, and then finally, last times last, negative 2 times 4, okay, so we foiled it, F-O-I-L. The F stands for first times first, outer times outer, inner times inner, last times last. All right, so this is 35x squared plus 20x minus 14x minus 8, okay, and then combine like terms, you should get that. Okay. All right, so here we're going to multiply, simplify the answer. Okay, I am going to distribute this trinomial through this binomial. Okay, so there that is right there. And then we'll distribute the x through this one and the negative 5y through that one. There's that right there. Okay, so we're going to do that. Okay, and then um, so clean that up. We should get that. Okay, notice we're adding the exponents. 1 plus 1 gives us x squared right there. Okay, watch for the negatives. This is a negative 5x squared y. Notice how I put it in alphabetical order. And then this is going to be a negative uh, 15. Whoops, I made a mistake. This should be a negative 15 right there. Let's put that in there. It's going to carry uh, with all the other stuff right there. So i got to change it as we're going along. Okay, and then uh, did I do that right? Minus 10y right there. Okay, so that's going to change this right here. So let's see. Did it do 5xy? That's going to just change this to a negative 15xy. So sorry about the, the distraction right there. Let me, let me extend that. Okay, there we go. Okay. All right. I think that's the answer right there. Okay. So here we go. Let's multiply. Rent, write these answers in simplified, in standard form. Okay. Standard form means in descending order. Okay. Descending order. Okay. So here's our formulas that we learned. So here I have a binomial squared x plus 7 squared. So I'm going to follow this one. It's going to be x squared plus 2 times x times 7 plus 7 squared. Okay. There's that. And then clean it up. There's your answer. Okay, this one's going to be uh, 3x minus 2y squared is going to be this formula. So we're going to put the 3x here, the 3x here, and the 2y here, and the 2y here. So we get that. Okay, so we got to square the 3. That's 9x squared. Here we have 2 times 3 times 2 is 12, negative 12, and then plus 4y squared right there. Okay. All right, so this one, these are conjugates. These are the same binomial where one is a plus and one is a minus. So when you're multiplying these conjugates together, we just square them and subtract. So we're just going to square the 5x and square the 4y and subtract those. Okay, we get that. Okay, easy enough. All right, what else do we have? All right, so if you are in our class, we're going to be giving you a review assignment. Take care.